Why do we do this to ourselves? Your fault. My fault. We're back at Universal, and it's raining again. But this time, the whole family wanted to join in the fun. So let's see what they're actually doing in the rain this time. Oh yep, gosh. of course. Now it comes way down. I got my. I know, but your sweatshirt's gonna get all wet. Ooh, and Production Central has their monsters or Universal Monsters store. This rain. It's all keeps you dry. All kinds of stuff. All the monsters. Yeah, here. Harry Potter. Are, are you scared? You're not scared. Once again, that fingerprint thing proves to be just an absolute hassle. I mean, they, I know they've done it as long as time itself, but I had never been a fan of that. Luckily, there's no lines to get in, so we walked right in. Um, now, the first thing is we're going to do is try to get uh, try to go to Toastal Cafe and see if we can get a reservation there, in hopes that that the rain is going to scare off most of the people that are doing that. Plenty of people in here with the same idea as us, I guess. It's ponchos galore. Everybody, grab your ponchos. <laughs> let's grab your ponchos. Let's go to Universal. Still working here. What could it be? We don't got time for that. We're going into the castle. Going to the left because we don't need lockers. Remember coming in here. If you don't want a locker, go to the left. They will try to funnel you to the right. Just tell them you don't want a locker. Get your butt over to the left. And uh, you get right past all that chaos here in the front. Like this. And you can head right in to the castle. Said this line was 15 minutes. So let's see how far it is for 15 minutes. And then we'll test. I mean, this is one of the most efficient loading and offloading rides in the whole park. So 15 minutes may need a, a may mean a, a big line that just keeps moving. We're talking Disneyland style efficiency here. But either way, I'm kind of hoping it takes a little longer so we can at least have a chance to dry off from the rain. <laughs> We're still walking through the Hall of Justice. Griffin dorks. Usually 15 minutes means the room in the library area right before, um, uh, what's the space's office? Where all the pictures are moving and stuff? Around here somewhere, uh, but we're still going. And I think we hit it here? Yeah, right here in, uh, what's his name? I always forget his name. But his office. But no, we're going right past it, okay. This, this is, okay, well now we're in the little, the cloths room. They took all these switchbacks out. Wow, so it said 15 minutes. We may just end up walking right on this thing. Like I was saying, 15 minutes could have meant 15 minutes when we started here. Right up here by the sorting hat. The, the, the room right before the ride itself. But this is where this is the room where it was last time when it said it was 15 minutes. Right before the sorting hat. And yeah, it's right up where the uh, where the single rider and express lines all merge together. And they basically just walked right on. So that 15 minutes was a five minute walk to the front of the ride and then three minutes in this little tiny line. Like I said, that wait, that wait time generally isn't correct on here. It's always much faster than it says on there. So after searching around the app for like 10 minutes, I realized I, there's no, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to make a reservation at the Toastal Cafe. So I just gave up. There, there used to be a button that said make a reservation and now it's gone on the actual app, app itself. So I don't know. Also the stage where they have the Triwizard Tournament and the Singing Toads is uh, under construction as well. So we're working on a bunch of stuff back here in, in Harry Potter land. We'll have to stop by Lard Lag, grab a donut on the way out. Raining in Springfield too. It's raining everywhere in this park. There's just so much rain everywhere in all the lands. Uh, I did see some guys over here battening down the hatches. But it look, yeah, you see all the, uh, looks. they have like a whole retaining wall up now. The whole concrete retaining wall there right underneath the, um, the loading platform, the queue area. 
Man, there's still, there's a lot of space. I didn't realize how much other space they had besides that queue area. That's not that big of a platform, to be honest. So I wonder if they're gonna have the queue down along here, and then you go up kind of like Silver Bullet, and then you go up at the end, and then you just got the, the loading platform there. So down here, where they had those, um, those little rails that they were digging out, you can see they've got little purple spires sticking out of the ground. It looks like they've got it. So they've got them all um, marked where they were. If you look down, you can just see there's rope along this whole area here. But they have them all buried. It's covered all the way down at the end there too. All the way down where they're gonna have to do that little turnaround area. Uh, but this whole hillside is completely covered in dirt now. So I'm not sure what that means, to be honest with you. Because uh, I don't see where they're gonna, I, I, I assume that they were gonna use those railings for the, um, the pillars to hold the actual uh, track. So I don't know, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know how this works, but this is, I'm wondering if they're just doing this to protect it from the storm, which is a very high possibility. I don't know, this is what it looks like right now. 2025, can't come soon enough. This park's on a rainy day schedule, except for The Simpsons for some reason. The Simpsons is 55. Nobody got the memo in Springfield. And of course, we could have gone to see your life of pets while we were up here. And when it's raining, we gotta ride Jurassic Park. Excuse me, Jurassic World. This is the, the legit Jurassic World experience. What it was like actually in Jurassic Park when it was rainy and Dennis Nedry got eaten by a Dilophosaur in the rain and the mud. He was trying to fly his way off the island. Couldn't make it, couldn't see because it was raining too hard. This ride's for you, Dennis Nedry. Another prime example of those times not really being correct outside. It's at five minutes. We'll see if this is five minutes. It is 12.14. So Harry Potter said 15 and it was seven minutes total. Or eight minutes or something like that. So let's see if Jurassic Park is actually five. So they finally opened up the back half of the rows, and it was like seven minutes, seven minutes or so to get on. But now we gotta sit here and wait to see the Mosasaur. Front row or we don't go. That's how we roll, even in the rain. Not messing around. Let's go. In the T-Rex enclosure. Tyrannosaurus. Ah! Stop. Oh, we're in the T-Rex kingdom. Ah! No splashy, no splashy, no splashy. Oh, that splashed the heck out of us. Thanks a lot, guy. Ah! There he is. There she is, Bear. Oh, wow. The Indominus. Help us out, Blue! Ah! Uh oh. Oh man. We got stuck again! We gotta wait. We gotta wait for a minute. Wait for it. Oh, don't move! Ah! Don't move and it won't see us. Oh, the T Rex! Get out of here, T Rex! We need to evacuate! We always get so excited to ride that ride in the rain, and every time we do, the consensus is the same. Such a bad idea. Everything else down here is like 35 minutes to wait because it's all indoors. So, and the Toad Soul Cafe is all booked up for the day. So we're gonna head back upstairs and grab a donut and um, maybe get something to eat, and then probably head out. And obviously because it's raining, they're not gonna have the characters coming out and interacting with the guests because why would they do that to themselves? There's still quite a few people here though, considering how rainy it is. Um, I didn't expect it to be this bad today, but it's it's been pretty bad at times and it's been constant. It has not stopped since we got here a couple hours ago. And even though it's raining right now, they're still running the Waterworld show. So those poor Waterworld performers gotta deal with uh, 
the water even when they're outside the water. So, because Toadstool wasn't open, we couldn't get any reservations. We had to get out of that park because the rain was just getting crazy. We couldn't get out of We So we decided to stop at Bubba Gump. We haven't been at Bubba Gump in a long time. And then, we're gonna have to run as fast as we can to get to the car. Just wish us luck. Because not only is it rainy, but now there's a cold wind that's accompanying the rain. Maybe they'll stop raining once we're done. Uh, so we're gonna, yeah, maybe we hope to hit uh, the eye of the storm. So that was, that was an adventure. We got some donuts. And now we're heading back to the car. And we're gonna blast those heaters. It was super cold in the park today. It's super cold. There's Jackson. What was that? <laughs> but at least this time we didn't manage to get lost finding the car like last time. We knew exactly where we parked this time. And again, it's kind of crowded today for it being rainy. And it's very rainy. But uh, we're going to go inside and we're going to get dried off. And until we see you next time, we will catch y'all on the... Flip.